The Department of Defense is at the leading edge of e-learning. Nowhere is the fast and accurate sharing of ideas and information more important than within the agencies that run defense and intelligence operations. Traditional means of delivering training are simply not good enough. Content over the years has always been developed in a uh, very traditional way, a lot of linear courses. It would take months to develop content. Some of the biggest challenges are meeting all the uh, training demand. We have thousands of courses within DOD, so it's a matter of keeping those updated and making those available on a 24 by 7 basis. So if I'm in Baghdad tomorrow, I don't have time to go to a 20 hour course. So how do I quickly have that content, and that content can be anything, terrain, weather, gaming, simulation, all those, those content objects delivered to me on the fly to help me do whatever I'm supposed to do that day. Ten years ago, the Office of the Secretary of Defense issued a strategic e-learning directive called ADL, the Advanced Distributed Learning Initiative. The vision was to ensure that learning content produced for use in one setting could interoperate with other platforms used in other settings. The ADL literally provided the technical specification for distributing and managing interactive digital learning experiences. The specification that sets the framework for this vision is called SCORM. The Shareable Content Object Reference Model is a standard that enables a, a, a way of distributing information in a common way. SCORM as a reference model needs to be able to support all types of learning. With the specifications established, the transformation began. Adobe tools fit right in with the model set for this initiative. We started to migrate to a different environment, which is a more object-based environment, meaning the content is broken up into smaller pieces, modules, chunks, whatever you want to call it. Today, what we're able to do differently from years ago is the ability to develop these content objects at the granular level. That way, we can deliver them anytime, anywhere, tailored to your individual preferences, styles, experience. Most of the training now is in some type of blended uh, solution where you've got a mix of face-to-face, -face, online, and, and then in between. We have browsers that play learning content packages that may include tests, assessments, uh, forms of interactivity, straight-ahead text that just needs to be read and comprehended. There are gaming environments and simulation environments. If you look at America's Army, very, very popular game, it actually gives you what you're probably going to expect to go through, it actually has you going through stuff virtually. It then also has things about the, the sergeant, you know, yelling at you about, you know, here's what you got to do and how to do it. With a portfolio of e-learning authoring tools that range from rapid to robust, the Department of Defense can realize savings in time and cost. We don't have to send uh, service members to training, rather we could bring the training to them, one in where they need it and there's a tremendous savings in, in travel and efficiencies that way. With Adobe Tools, the department can also develop and change content easily without sacrificing the quality of the digital experience. Developing in Flash, a template allows you to quickly bring in the, the various text, animations, graphics, all those pieces that you want to deliver for your instruction in a format that I can do literally in minutes. And so this is a big, huge savings. Traditionally, if there was a change, I'd have to go back, recode, re-architect. Today, because our reference model has the code itself separate from the content, so as the content changes, I can quickly make that change without recoding everything. Using the SCORE model and technologies like Adobe Flash and Connect Pro, the Department of Defense is pursuing an ambitious vision for education in the military, public, and private sectors. Moving forward, there's definitely a, an area for integration of these technologies. 18-year-olds coming in, they're expecting much different than what was being delivered traditionally. So that is a huge change, and I see that now as that integration of those technologies critical for keeping us up competitive and keeping us at the, uh, the learning abilities that we need. Now that the technical foundation framework is in place, we can truly move to that adaptive learning environment that we strive for when we started 10 years ago. Adobe, extending education and training to learners anywhere.